Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqib. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the demise of His Royal Highness. Prince Lalal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud praying to Allah Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad sent a similar cable of condolences to His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the late His Royal Highness Prince Lalal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, praying to Allah to accommodate the deceased in eternal bliss. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a similar cable of condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of senior officials and figures from intellectual, cultural and media elite at Ghulaybiya Palace with whom His Royal Highness discussed local matters. During the meeting, His Royal Highness affirmed that the strength of the Kingdom of Bahrain depends on its people who represent an exemplary model in their patriotism and sacrifice as evidenced by their fending off attempts to destabilize and divide the Kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness highlighted the honorable positions that the people have historically taken on a long range of issues, which he said bode well for the future of the country. His Royal Highness said that he holds much appreciation for the people and hopes that all local media sources will accurately reflect that positive image of the Bahraini people. His Royal Highness warned about the state of uncertainty that the world is going through, which he said should not distract the focus of the Bahraini people from their responsibilities towards the country, which are meant to bring further development and prosperity. His Royal Highness also stressed on the importance of cooperation among the countries of the regions in the face of common threats. His Royal Highness praised the courage of the people in the face of conspiracies that were meant to intervene and undermine the unity and security of the country. He added that it was the unity of the people that defeated those attempts to sow divisions among them. On the imminent arrival of the new year, His Royal Highness expressed hopes that it will bring peace and prosperity to the people of Bahrain as well as to the Arab and Islamic worlds. He also expressed optimism that the new year will be better than the present one and that determination and willpower must be renewed to develop the country further. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of the commitment and preservation of national unity and said that the honest hard work alone can elevate citizens to high-ranking positions across all sectors. His Royal Highness also emphasized the importance of cooperation, coordination and partnership with the Parliament in all that serves the interests of the people. His Royal Highness welcomed discussion of all that concerns the country and its people, affirming his high confidence in the elected Parliament.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable condolences to the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the late His Royal Highness Prince Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, supplicating for Allah's abundant mercy upon the deceased in his vast paradises. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a similar cable of condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz. The Shura Council today held its second regular meeting of the first session of the fifth legislative term under the chairmanship of Ali bin Saleh Saleh. The Shura Council formed the reply to the Royal Speech Committee, which was delivered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa while opening the first session of the fifth legislative term. The meeting approved the proposal of the Council's Bureau on the membership of its standing committees. The meeting also elected the standing committee's chairpersons and deputy chairpersons, as well as the four members who will represent the Shura Council and the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Delegation. Then the meeting reviewed the letter addressed to the Shura Council by His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the decree laws issued while the National Assembly was in recess in accordance with Article 38 of the Constitution. The Minister of Interior and President of the Civil Defense Council, Lt. Gen. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's meeting in the presence of the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs. Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Minister of Health, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Minister of Information Affairs, Chief of Public Security, the Chief Executive Officer of the Supreme Council for Environment, and the Director General of Petroleum Affairs. The Minister of Interior welcomed the members of the Council, noting the importance of regular meetings and protecting public peace for citizens and residents. The Minister of Interior affirmed the importance of reviewing and developing the civil defense law and preparing a draft law to amend the law, noting the need to update the national strategy of handling emergencies. The Council discussed the importance of cooperation and coordination regarding poor condition houses used for workers illegally and to take the required measures regarding them. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the 101st meeting of the Ministers of Organiza rather, Organization of Arab and Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, that was held today in Kuwait, chaired by the UAE Minister of Energy and Industry Engineer, Suhail al Mizrui, with the participation of a number of ministers from the member states. The minister expressed pleasure in his participation alongside his brothers to discuss a number of topics and enhance the multilateral cooperation. He praised the role of the meeting in exchanging views and ideas in which it leads to reaching solution to various issues that serve the oil, gas and economic sectors. The oil minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to participate in international events, to hold meetings, discuss and create opportunities with senior officials. He praised the support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of the sector. He added that this support motivates to achieve further accomplishments that benefit the economy of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister said that the meeting included discussing the organization's budget for 2019, the General Secretariat activities, in addition to the forums and conferences held by the organization, including the Energy Conference in Morocco, International Petroleum Conferences, Climate Change and Paris Accord. The Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, received at Bayan Palace the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of his visit to Kuwait. His Highness Sheikh Sabah hailed the deep rooted and historic relation between the two countries. The Minister conveyed to His Highness Emir of Kuwait the greetings of His Majesty the King and his wishes of advancement and prosperity to Kuwait. His Highness the Emir of Kuwait asked the Minister to convey his greetings and wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the King and of the development and progress to Bahrain. The Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Sabah, also received at Bayan Palace the Minister of Finance and National Economy who expressed appreciation for the Crown Prince's keenness on bolstering bilateral relations, hailing Kuwait's stances towards Bahrain, which embodied the deep-rooted relations. 
The Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Jabir al Mubarak al Hamid al Subah, also received the Minister of Finance and National Economy, where they discussed bilateral cooperation. The Minister expressed thanks to the Emir of Kuwait, Crown Prince, and Prime Minister for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, expressing appreciation for the keenness on bolstering cooperation between the two countries, especially in economic and development fields. The Housing Minister Bassem bin Yagoub al Hamar asserted that East Head City is witnessing preparations to distribute the first phase units of the project Bushahin neighborhood to beneficiaries. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, the Housing Services Management will begin the procedure of delivering unit usage contracts by the end of January, according to a timetable to distribute 5,000 units. The Housing Minister noted that 487 units along with the area's infrastructure were completed. He also noted that the preparations of the distribution of units will begin a few weeks after the distribution of housing units in Umalas Jar neighborhood, which began the contract delivery process to beneficiaries and provided them with technical and legal guidance. The Housing Minister noted that the distribution of housing units is being completed according to the gradual operational plan for the new housing city. Khotwa, a non-profit organization under the wing of Bahrain Trust Foundation, kicked off the second edition of his annual outdoor event, the K-Market. The event, which is taking place at Water Garden City, began on Thursday, the 20th of December, 2018, and will run for three weekends, ending on the 5th of January, 2019. Founded in 2014, Khatwa was established with the aim of promoting three main pillars, self-sustainability, recreation, and welfare. The K-Market is one of the many initiatives undertaken by Khatwa to raise money for the organization and its causes, in line with their mission to create smart and practical solutions which secure a better life for people in need. This year the K-Market is back and it's uh, bigger than ever. Um, we supported a lot more uh, home businesses and uh, this year we added a few things like the creative corner so we can support more artists, we supported more charities and alhamdulillah the market itself is almost three times bigger. Um, we're having better footfall and um, alhamdulillah we can support more people. The main purpose of our event is um, actually to familiarize everyone with what Khudwa is. And not just that, we're also looking to support uh, Bahrainis and local talent participating here with us today. Uh, this is our second event, the second major event. It's only the first day, but it seems like it's a great turnout. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone who has participated with us here today, from vendors to visitors to even uh, the volunteers that have helped us. Every support counts. Uh, last year participation was more about an exposure for our work. Like K-Market helped us a lot to be on stage to talk to people because we're a health advocacy PR awareness firm. So we're supporting all the patients, we're supporting all the sicknesses, and we're trying to focus on that medical field that not lots of people know about. Us as patients and us as family members, for those patients, we're trying to spread the awareness of that. But this year, more about giving care. Beyond raising money, the market aims to promote home businesses by acting as a platform for them to grow and gain exposure, establishing them within the market as a result. Additionally, it aims to support other charitable causes whilst providing a hub for local performers and artists to showcase their talents. It's been a wonderful experience volunteering for the K-Market. Uh, the guys did a wonderful job this year. Uh, it's a huge improvement on last year. It's there for three weekends, for three days. so. Feel free to join us whenever you can, um, and I'm looking forward to the weeks ahead. White Spoon is a company that donates 50% of its profits to a charitable cause, and the causes are always girls and education. For here are the girls that we've already donated to and supported their education, and now we're on uh, Zainab, the ninth cause. I want to thank the K-Market because it's honestly been such a great experience. It's the second year we participate, and um, it's, it's lovely. I'm so happy to see this happen again year after year, you know, uh, for beautiful causes they've supported, beautiful musical acts, you've got lots of great vibes here, all kinds of good people, all kinds of fun, great creative style, it's so zen, modern, it's, for me this is like something else, you're having a good time to help the less fortunate, 
It sounds like a win-win for everyone. I love seeing Bahraini initiatives like this, um, especially ones that call to a cause. Um, and I love it when I see the Bahraini community coming together like this. I mean, I'm from Kuwait, and we, yeah, we, we love these types of markets. But it's really nice to see it, hasta um, with people. Yani, I'm a Bahraini, yani, they have a special place in my heart. So the idea, and I can come here and have a similar environment and and see this and see people come together is beautiful. I'm happy to be here like to support charity and all the businesses that's here because it's like very nice to support charity and help other people. It's wonderful to be here having fun with my friends and also donating money to a special cause. I'm so happy that this year the market is bigger, better, there's more vendors, everyone's so excited. It's the best time of year with the best view ever. As a young Bahraini, I feel very proud to see people of my generation uh, achieve and accomplish such uh, markets and it's for a good cause. So I encourage everyone to come and visit this place. I feel like it's very important to support the locals in Bahrain, especially the younger generation. Um, I feel like they're the most hardworking and they deserve to be praised and they deserve to have events and opportunities like these. Um, I feel like this uh, market was a huge success and um, we're enjoying it. Following the success of the previous edition in 2017, which attracted over 3,500 visitors over three days, this year's K Market has doubled in size and will run over three weekends. The market will feature shopping, food, live entertainment, and a kids' area. Admission for children below seven years of age is free. Those aged seven and above will have an entry fee of 2BD, with all funds going towards the support of a charitable cause.